This is my current bike. I got this in June of 2017, so it's over three years old now. I have learned a lot with this bike. It's lasted really well, except for this little crack right here, which I don't think is actually gonna do anything because it's, it's just the C-clamp area. This just arrived at my door within the last hour. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're gonna unbox this on camera. This is the Total Killaby K4 frame. I'm really stoked on this. This is sick. Kyle Baldock signature frame. I don't really know what to say. I'm honestly speechless. I'm also really happy about this purchase. Got this bike stand because I work in my bike so much. So before we do anything, we're gonna go ahead and weigh this bike. 20.92. I do think I'm gonna save a lot of weight because it just just holding this it feels way lighter. Some people don't like clamping by their frame. Personally, I don't really care that much. Actually, it actually makes a lot more sense if I put my current bike in here and take it apart in the sand. Now we're gonna put the total frame in here, just like this. How do I do it? I don't know. Make sure that you're putting Grease, where the bearings go. Really, anywhere where there's metal on metal contact. I really don't remember it being this difficult. We're already this far, so we gotta keep going. As you can see, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I struggled a lot with the bottom bracket. That was much harder than I remembered it being. Still not done. I'm essentially using my cranks as a bottom bracket press, which I, if you have the chance, just go to a bike shop or something. While I'm at this, I'm gonna go ahead and install my new sprocket. Got the BSD super light. Just thought it was time to finally go from a guarded sprocket to a non-guarded sprocket, just cause I never use it. And it just, it just saves a little bit of weight. That's as low as the seat can go because Total has this brake system that goes through the seat tube. I always wondered about that, but yes, you are blocked off right there. Now we can go ahead and move on to the headset bearing so I can throw on the front end of the bike. You need a carbon spacer if you want to be parked, along with your profile push stem. Pretty sure I don't have to alter my chain at all because the rear end length is barely changing. Oh man. I'm gonna be running this thing like just about slammed because that barely fits on there. I'm really close to being done with the bike. It is crazy how light it feels right now. I know I didn't save that much weight, but I couldn't be more stoked. I think I need to go to the bike shop so I can get that bearing all the way in though. And I do need to grab a sprocket bolt, but otherwise I'm just about done for now. Get out of there. Hey, nice. 19 pounds, 12 ounces. So now a few days later, it's today is my birthday. Woo, happy birthday. Um, anyways, we're just gonna go for a quick shred at the park next to my house because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out today. But flat is better than nothing. So I cut my seat down because my seat post is so low and I don't want my seat to stick up a whole bunch out of it. But apparently I really do use the higher seat to help me bar spin. So I gotta get used to that. That took way too long.
Oh my gosh. Ew. <laughs> Alright, so as you can tell, I have a lot of relearning to do. It does feel quite a bit different than my old setup, but I'm very excited to start riding this thing more seriously soon. What should I do to end it? Let's try a little switch bar real quick. A little sketchy. A little sketchy, but we'll count it. But yeah, I'm gonna go do other things now. Bye.